I am so excited. La 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 la. Hmm, what is that over there? Ah, uh, it's a treasure map. I am going to be so rich. The lost treasure of Munchkin's land. Oh, it's wow, Mr. Munchkin's that is man. so cool. I have to yeah. find this before Mr. Evil's Munchkin's man does. Okay, so firstly, I need to go to the Enchanted Woods. Yep. I am so scared right now, but I have to find the treasures. Ah, what is that? Oh, it's just a spider. Pride. Hello, spiders. Hello, Mr. Munchkin's man. <laughs> this is like uh, a two minute long Mr. Munchkin's man lore video. And with that, welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast episode I'm number on- 49. I'm on Mr. Munskin's man's premium, dude. People are getting like 20 second Mr. Munskin's man's videos. I'm getting two hour long lore drops full of adventure, treasure, tomfoolery, villains. Give me three things that he did that were tomfoolery. Found a treasure map. Okay. Went outside. Met a spider. That you saw that all in one video. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even watch the full video, dude. I have a treat for me when I'm what done is, with this with this episode. What is what is the adjective for tomfoolery? Is it Tom Fuleris? I think. Uh, is Tom. Uh, Tom Foolery. Hmm. That's a good question. Because Tom Foolery is a. Uh, what is that? It like a, it's not a noun. Uh, I'm going to commit it, Tom Foolery. I guess it's a noun. Is it like an adverb? It's a, is it an action? No, it's not an adverb. <laughs> Fuck. Is it, it could be predicate. It could be predicating something. My favorite predicate is tomfoolery. I know that doesn't sound right. <laughs> no, no. Uh, tomfoolery is such iconic. It would be a um, such iconic. It would be the subject for sure. Such iconic is a crazy doge thing to say, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a this is a random lol XD brain rot podcast. Everybody. Yeah, we're, we we uh, the intro has Mr. Munchkin's man. You know, we're <laughs> yeah, Mr. Down, Munchkin's man. Here. What what percentage of people on YouTube do you think are aware of Mr. Munchkin's so here's man? The thing. On YouTube, I feel like that's like, very TikTok coded, yeah, very yeah. millennial TikTok coded. You know, on YouTube, maybe like point zero one percent or something. Really, on probably even less than that. On for our channel, probably a hundred percent because nobody watches other than the TikToks. Well, this is this is <laughs> we're like our own category of brain rot because if you watch this, you will become stupider. Yeah, actually, speaking of stupider, I was trying to get uh, 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 Sneeko on, and he wouldn't come on. Uh, I was also trying to get RXK nephew on, and he wouldn't come on. I was assuming we have Sean would more come on. serious come ties on. to get RXK nephew on if we really wanted him. Like, there's better ways you we could replying, try to get him on than than replies on Twitter. You don't think replying on Twitter is going to get RXK nephew on the RXK I mean, nephew? It might. it might, but like we know people that know him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could probably DM him on Instagram and probably get a better. Oh, it was actually it, it was Twitter funny. Replies. I was, which is crazy because I'm in Cleveland. I was getting coffee. I was walking to the, uh, you know, where do you want to shout out? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, sure. Big B Coffee. They make specialty lattes. It's, it's pretty good. So I was walking. Next out, time I'm out there, I was walking out there, dude. You you'll actually like it. It's but they're a little bit sweet. I don't know if you like sweet coffee. Um, brother, you're sweet, have you seen you're, the way I eat? You're sweet as can be. <laughs> you're sweet as can be. Um, but I was walking around the corner. Welcome to the Cutie Pie Podcast. <laughs> If we hard pivot to the Cutie Pie Podcast, I'd be so happy. <laughs> on it, on it. That's the title of the episode: the Cutie Pie Podcast. I was gonna, I was gonna name it like uh, something like fake, like um, yeah, super. You already had an idea super, for the name. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, dude, I want to like get crazy with like a thumbnail. So I want to like center like some of the content around like like uh, like Aiden Ross type streamers or like. Uh, like Pookie, um, the cutie, the, I don't know. I was gonna say Pookie Wookie for a moment. The Cutie Pie podcast featuring Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross, and we get the Phase Kids, the new Phase Kids. You we got to message Sean really quick to see if we can get him to do a Aiden Ross character. He could probably do a good one. I I'll be Ooh, honest with I you. I have an I, Aiden Ross conspiracy theory. I thought of last night. Okay, Aiden Ross conspiracy. You want to hear an Aiden Wait, Ross? Actually, this ties in that, really well. Before you say that, when I was walking around the corner of the coffee shop, I heard someone blasting music with their bass all the way up. Who else was it but fucking RXK nephew? And I, I went back and I looked like that and I said, nobody listens to that guy. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't RXK nephew. It was a guy playing RXK yes. nephew. Yes. Yeah. Because he spent some time in Cleveland again recently too. He goes to Cleveland a lot. It's not too it's far here. out of he's the he's question he's to get him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, and when he did a show last on his last tour, he not only did he go to Cleveland, he did a show in Cleveland Heights. Really. Yes, I don't know what venue would have That's to look my it up neck again. Of woods. I am aware. Dox him. Um, I had a. I was thinking about this show earlier today, 
and I um, was thinking about my Trump shoot him again comments from that deleted episode. And then I kind of had like a weird little daydream where I gave my full address out and I told people to come shoot me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just like tripled down and I was like, here's my address. Come find me. And you were like, oh, maybe we should censor that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Keep it in. We won't censor that. Like find me walking through my nice ass neighborhood. Come find me and gun me down. But I have family that lives here. That wouldn't be nice. I should move well, out so I can tell people it. to come find you, me and shoot me. <laughs> you just vocalized it. Well, it's just like a day drink. You know how like you go in the shower and you think of like someone that said something mean to you three years ago and you're like, well, oh, what if I punched you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a nerdy comeback shower day dream. What if, what it was if, like, it was like that. What if, okay. Where are you going to, where are you going to be on October 31st at 8 PM? Your, your time on Halloween. Yeah. I don't know yet. Okay. I've been invited to two to, th- I've been invited to three Halloween parties this year. None of them are on Halloween. So I don't know what I'm doing. Wherever you are, just drop drop it on uh, on social media, mm. and then see if someone comes to shoot you. Right before you press render on this video, at this point, ask me where I'm at and what I'm doing, and I'll record a little okay. video of where okay. I'm at. Okay, and that'll be cool. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I was going to talk about something before you uh, went back to your story. Oh, Aiden Ross conspiracy yeah, theory. Yeah. So, are you familiar with Lieutenant Dan? Mm-hmm. You said the N word. This is very internet. This whole episode is very internet brain rot coded already. Yep. Um, so for the uninitiated, Hurricane Helene hit Florida. It's the second hurricane that hit it. What? And there's all sorts of flooding and crazy things. And I think there might be a third one coming to it. No, I'm not mistaken. Helene at the time a, of recording. You say, wait, what? Say what you said again. I'm making sure. You're uh, so it was, Hurricane Helene was the second hurricane to hit Florida so far. Correct? First. The first, second one is Milton. Oh no, you're right. Okay, yeah, whatever. The, anyways, the um, I don't want to get, second I don't think, one. I don't want to get the 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 the, 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 the short comment. They're so angry with us. Are you bit. thinking I'm going to short this already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, end this with something funny so I can put it on shorts. Okay. Um. Olive Garden Mint. Andy's candies are legit. I don't want to get sidetracked, but yeah. I have history with Andy's candies. All right. That was, that was hilarious. Andy by knows. the way, please subscribe. Yep. Um, <laughs> it, so, okay. Hurricanes hit. They were telling people to evacuate. Did you see the videos of the police officers driving through neighborhoods, telling yeah. people to leave or That's, die? That is fucking horrifying. By the way, yeah, it was pretty creepy. I mean, they should evacuate for real, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty dystopian uh, site. Anyway, so a bunch of people did stick out, stick it out and stay. And of course, because of the age that we live in, a few people did it for content. Um, okay, I know where this is going, I think. What, one, one, one amongst them, I guess this guy wasn't doing it for content, but a bunch of content creators found him, was this guy named Lieutenant Dan. Does he have one leg or does he have two legs? I thought someone told <laughs> me he had one leg. I know also I don't know much about him. Okay, but he, he was in a sailboat, right? So he's already, he's in a boat. You know what I mean? Which I guess is cool because it can float, but also you're get, getting the brunt of all the impacts mm-hmm. and shit. And he was trying to survive. So a bunch of people were like going to check up on him. And, um, you know, he was like doing all sorts of triumphant, bold things during the hurricane. And uh, newsflash, he survived. So like after the hurricane or this, I think there's still more hurricanes to come. After this hurricane is was done, people checked on him. He was okay. And uh, I think previously Aiden Ross was got himself involved and he had offered like a large sum of cash and a new boat to Lieutenant Dan, if he made it through and survived. So, you know, he clearly survived and a bunch of people were like, Oh, like, Hey, here, come get your like boat or whatever. But at the same time, people dug into his past and found like 50, he was like arrested, like almost 50 times, like 47 or something like that. And they found all of his mug shots and all of his crimes and so you think Lieutenant Dan is an industry plant by Aiden Ross? Well, not quite, but I'm, 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 I'm building the story for the uninitiated. So, you know, uh, at this point, people start digging into his past, finding all of his mug shots, all of the things he was convicted for. And so at the time, Aiden Ross pulls out of the um, deal, doesn't give him the money, doesn't give him the yacht. And Lieutenant Dan goes on a bunch of people's other people's content claiming to be pissed at Aiden Ross, trying to start some beef about it, yada, yada, yada. So then Lieutenant Dan gets a kick deal. Do you see this? 
I sure did. And where he immediately starts dropping the N word, like yeah. not even a minute into his live stream. It was it was funny because there was a tweet, and I I'm, I I think we both. Do you use the uh, regurgitated Twitter more than your own Twitter? I use my Twitter every day. <laughs> I use the regurgitated Twitter like twice okay, a week. Okay, okay. So because we have very similar feeds, I believe. Because there was a but there was a tweet that no, said, we don't. <laughs> I mean, you you should see what the fuck is showing up on my feed. Well, the the there was a tweet. Also, a lot of football right now. Represent, by the way. Yeah, there's come no on, football come on, on, come on, come on, come uh, on, come on. We're so good. We're so good. Come on. Are you good? We're so fucking good. Although next tomorrow, so we're recording this October twelfth. Tomorrow we play the Ravens. Battle the Beltway. Ravens are Super Bowl contenders. It's very likely we lose the game and get sent back to reality. But if we win tomorrow, put up the score of this game here. If we win tomorrow. I will be the most insufferable person on the p- face of the fucking earth. I bought a jersey. I bought a- I haven't bought a new jersey in like years. This is a good season this for shit. you. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Anyways, c- uh, continue. Yeah, so I won't make this a football podcast, but just n- just know that I'm happy inside. There was, I, I'm happy that you're happy inside, and I, I assume you're happier inside than the football. It's just maybe hanging out with you your good me friend. Happy That's right. So uh, th- in uh, more ways than one. What's the other way? <sighs> okay, sure. I, I also exhale, put my hands are up in the air. So there's, <laughs> there's a there's a tweet that was like uh, the uh, lieutenant Dan get the lieutenant lieutenant Dan gets kick deal, and then someone quote retweeted it and said, "Watch this guy say the n word in like twenty four <laughs> yeah. hours," and then not even ten hours later, or whatever, he was already saying the n word. So everything I just recapped is the public story, but I have the true inside scoop into the dark underbelly it's not that deep i just have a like slight suspicion that maybe pre hurricane aiden ross was like hey i'm gonna give you a large sum of money anyways what if like we make this kind of like a fake beef and like you know maybe maybe it'd be funny if you went on kick because he has the connections at kick and you said the n-word or something you know what i mean like i don't it's not even that deep i just we were talking about this last night and I just thought of for a moment, I was like, Aiden Ross feels like the type of person to maybe orchestrate like a kind of fake internet beef thing yeah. with some crazy guy who probably, he, he would take a bunch of money to say the N-word online. He's just a crazy guy in general. Like the Logan you know? Paul KSI, like they hate, they act like they hated each other and now they're just like billion, <laughs> yeah, billionaires together or whatever. Yeah, but that was more like, that was more like two guys trying to orchestrate internet clout. I would think this one's more of like Aiden Ross. He's a guy who's struggled his whole life, who's becoming kind of viral and just says like, hey, here's a large sum of money if we can just simulate this shit. You can kind of ruin and spawn oh, so my more reputation like, for more, a bit. More like Idubs and that guy that called him uh, N word hard R F slur hard uh, T. Unfamiliar. You don't know the the N word F slur guy. Oh, never mind. I dubs didn't didn't he just say that? Uh, is, he, is there more to that? He well he got there was a guy who called him that and that's where he got the the term from. Oh yeah, I'm unfamiliar. Did I dubs pay a guy to call him that? Uh. No, uh, oh, I think so. I think it was like he was some like pseudo like friend or like uh, mutual that did that. I don't remember. This was like this is like well, twenty. You're the one making the claim, so fact check it. You might look dumb. I think the N word. I gotta awesome. finish some. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough. I can't stop saying it. That's true. Do you think RXK and F would give us the pass? <laughs> I, I, I was thinking. Was it, wasn't that a thing with Aiden Ross? Some rapper gave him, said, oh, yeah, you have the pass. And then he just said, said it. Really. it was, Andrew, was it Andrew Tate, maybe? Uh, Leafy did that for sure. Someone like ga- said they gave him the pass. And now he just says it willy nilly. Like, I don't know. You have the F slur pass. I mean, at least you can say it like half as much as normal people. But don't yeah, you? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, probably. And I have the art, the R word. I task. feel like when you're in a, yeah, 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 true, true, true. What do you mean? All right, that's it. That's the show. Everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, how is it doing a podcast during the day for the first time ever? We've done podcasts during the day. It's been few, but we've done them during the day before. Oh, there's been a 45. couple of rescheduling situations. I don't the remember car. the episode the numbers. I think it was oh, that too. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. What are we doing for episode fifty? By the way. In person. We'll just wait again. And then oh, fucking a. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a large thing it's to drop so on funny. me. I, this is like, 
I, I'll be real with you. It feels really super unproductive right now because obviously I'm um, the, the whole computer thing, which I won't go into, but I was curious about, I was actually going to ask you about okay, that. I'll, at some I'll, point. I'll, I can explain it, but uh, I feel super unproductive right now. Time, man. I know. <laughs> uh, I feel super unproductive right now. Um, you look so cute thinking about how unproductive you are. Thanks, and a dude. cute little smile. Thanks, Just dude. kind of thinking about how awesome it was to be unproductive. Yeah, it was I, I, super, super unproductive. I look like I have Bell's palsy when I do that. Um, the fuck is Bell's palsy? It's when half of your face like gets stuck like this and you, for like weeks. And then it's, it just uh, goes it was like a stroke. Uh, I think you, you get similar. Uh, like the fa- the FACE, you know, the FACE thing. Check the face and then the what? reactions or what is it? I don't remember. Maybe it's not FACE. I have no clue oh, FACE what you're is the about. music thing. I'm fucking stupid. Never mind. Moving I have on. No, I have zero. I, I'm going to be, I have, I'm going to be honest with you. 0.0000% of that, not even a 0001, just 0% of that I understood. So FACE is did. a music thing that I'm just stupid and got mixed up. There's a bass. Yeah. Or is it a scale? Or I don't like remember what it is. Or? It might be a scale. I don't remember what it is. Is it a song? It's a definitely, maybe it's a song, but it's not a song. I know. Uh, and then there's a th- there's something you do with uh, with with uh, stroke victims when they, they, they you have to like check if they they want they can lift their right arm or some shit. And there's like the whole there's like a whatever. Anyway, um, but this uh, my point was I feel super unproductive right now. But this is like actually like the ideal rate where podcasts come out like once a sure. month plus like that's what that's what i want but i would yeah, like I would honestly like more, i would like more it more put together so maybe a, a, a few smaller eh, a few smaller parts to make a bigger podcast would be the, yeah. the dream goal but it, it's it's interesting because on one hand i i want like i really like doing this with you and i makes me want to do more of it but also I don't think it's something that needs more. You know what I mean? Like I think doing more of this is actually counterproductive, especially when it's unplanned, (laughs) but let me, let me, let me talk about the computer, but I would like to do more CNS stuff, I guess is the point, but that's kind of difficult to do. So maybe less frequent podcasts, potentially more, just come here for a week. CNS. We'll come here for a week. We'll record six CNSs and six podcasts and we'll just release them one uh, uh, release one CNS on one podcast a month and we'll just be gotten done with it we'll record yeah. six podcasts Can I be in a honest week with you crazy. Too? So I, I, I want to know more about the computer thing oh so for the uninitiated too Ben doesn't have a computer right now which obviously created a lot of confusion with me as to why he was asking me to record this because I was like what do you mean you don't have a computer but we're going to record this either way just up, not even like a major update on my situation too you sent me over the files for CNS. Oh, is that a spoiler? Should we cut that? No, you sent me it. over. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, spoiler alert. We, 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 what, 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 what it's going to be. Yeah. Or when it, wait, no, we already yeah. talked about it's going to be out. Uh, oh. Yeah. Either way, you sent me over the files for it. I went super hard for like a week and a half. I have not touched it since. I'm to be insane, fair, I, I'm insane, but I, I, I took I took I took a bit of a I had like a weekend where I went to I took my girlfriend to like a music festival. It was pretty cool. But oh this yeah, past you saw week and a half, you saw Chapel Chapel Roan and you were singing hot no, to go. I did not see Damn Chapel Roan. Oh, I did go to um Chapel Roan night, which was like a DJ night party thing at a club. But that uh, was not seeing Chapel Roan. Yeah. A H O T T O G O. I know that I don't know. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> um no, no, no. We went to um form Akrasani, which if you're unfamiliar with Akrasani, pull up some pictures of it really quick gorgeous place a lot of crazy history um that's a whole other story we can get into that in a bit um because there was actually some interesting shit that went down there but um either way so i got back from that and i was like oh i'm gonna go super hard in editing i've not brother i've been the most unproductive i've been all year the past two weeks i literally come i haven't even it's funny i got an xbox last night and i was talking to ethan and uh better ben and um they (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and uh just kidding just kidding you don't have to be kidding but you don't call them that. um <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke kind of joking kind of joking um anyways so they were i hadn't been on xbox in like two weeks and they kind of made some comments about it the honest truth about i about it too is i was too tired to even go on xbox like i've been coming i've either been out with my girlfriend or I'm coming home and just laying down and going to sleep. Something about my energy the past two weeks has been like just non-existent. Yeah. Like not even in like a oh I don't feel like working type of way. It's like 
I'm just tired. I've been tired all the time the past two weeks, and I'm not quite sure why. Time of the year, maybe? Time of the month. <laughs> yeah, you're spitting blood out your pee-pee hole. What come out yep. of your urethra? Where did it come out of? And a guy. I guess it would have to come out of the urethra, wouldn't it? You'll have to ask the liberal left, the woke mob. Yeah, the- <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll give him a call for sure. You'll have to ask Tampon Tim. Yeah. That was a joke. Tim. What is that? What is Tampon Tim? Tim Waltz. Waltz. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's they call awesome. him Tampon Tim because he wanted to put tampons in the, in the restrooms in high schools or something. Why would he want to do that? That sounds horrible. Let's not, let's not get, I don't <laughs> want to go down this road here. This is not the time or place um, for it. Uh, so yeah, my computer, my computer's fine. Your computer? Um, I got a new graphics card. Nice, nice R- uh, RTX 4070. Class in chat. Yep. If you're happy for Ben getting a new graphics card, please put RTX, please com- da- comment down below RTX 4070. Is that what it was? Yep. Down, please, please leave that down below if you're happy for Ben. And I have, because I, I had a 2060 uh, for like two or three years. It's almost that year. It's almost that year. You're right. We got it. In a, in a few years, it will be that year. <laughs> um, and crazy. Uh, I've been using it for a while and it's just, I'm at the point where I'm like, I could use an upgrade and I bought it on a firm. So I have a payment plan. Cause fuck Whoa, it. Oh, bro. Fuck it. Bro stuck on Klarna payment plans, bro. Yep. And I slotted it in and it worked with plug and play. I'll tell you what else I slotted it in. My wife. There you go. High five, dude. Subscribe. High five, please. High five, please. Nice. Um, so uh, I slotted in. It was plug and play. And I'll tell you what else I plug and play with. Go ahead. <laughs> My wife. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else. Um, I My boss's wife. <laughs> I literally, <laughs> I, I, I uninstalled the, the drivers, installed the, the GPU, installed those drivers, and I was streaming within like an hour. It was that quick. Hold on. Sneeze. Loading. <laughs> oh, that was a cataclysmic sneeze, bro. That was a San Andreas fault line sneeze. <sighs> that was a... Oh, come on. Oh, Censor God. that. Oh my god. <laughs> Ethan, you better be clipping this shit. You better be clipping this shit so fucking hard right now. Keep this <sighs> out. Huh? Nothing. You're <sighs> great, buddy. You're great. <sighs> Have I told you how glowing you looked? You literally, it looks like you're glowing. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the computer. So I plugged in the graphics card and it was, and it was plug and play within an hour. Right. I got it. I got it in and everything installed in it within an hour. And I was streaming dark souls that night. Whoa. It was awesome. Plug. Plug. I stream dark souls every Thursday until oh. I'm done with it. Other than the next Thursday. And I'm actually streaming it tonight. Funny enough. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of speaking of doing less, wanting to do more content on this channel, but doing less stuff too. We should stream on this channel more. I thought about that recently. I want to play dress to impress with you really badly. I think you would hate it. It's a VR game. No. Oh, it's Roblox. What is it on? Oh, come the fuck on, bro! It's, Don't dude, make it's, me. It's huge, Roblox, dude. Dress to I, I. Okay, I'll be real with you. Dress to impress is only okay, but it is fucking enormous, and it would probably draw Cancel. in viewership. Well, how much does Roblox cost? Absolutely free. And dress to impress is free. Yeah. Great. It's it. It's. I think we could have fun with it for one for like two hours. Sure, sure, sure. We'll talk about this more. Yeah. I just feel like, and I don't want to turn this into a video game thing too. Yeah, but I don't want to turn this shit into video game. But talk. I do want more stuff on the live yeah, channel. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so and then I was like, okay, Alexis has a 1060, so I was like, I'll put my 2060 into her computer. So I took her computer out of her room, threw her on my bed. Oh, did you fry her computer? Kind of. Took it out. Took it. Uh, took off the plate. Unplugged her thing. Actually, I, I uninstalled the drivers first. Unplugged her thing. Plugged in my Adam? thing. What? Megalopolis, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, um, Black Klansman. Was he in that? What was the movie where Adam Driver? Black Adam. No, what was the movie where Adam Driver says the N word and he's racist? 
Supernova, his song. Oh no, that's Baby Driver. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. When you said Adam, I thought my brother joined. No. Um, your brother's Adam Driver. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Have you talked to him too? Please subscribe. Yeah. Please, please um, like this video and share it with your grandma. Dude, that's a good thumbnail. If, uh, my brother is Adam Driver. I'm talking about my brother Adam Driver. I don't know. I still like the cutie pie. But all right, you just cutie pie. Aiden Ross, group share this with your grandma. My brother's Adam Driver. Okay. Okay. That'll be the, that'll Fit be the all that in somehow. Yeah. Okay. I put it in my graphics card. Loaded her computer up and I noticed it was extremely slow. I was like, maybe I just got to up, up, uh, update the drivers, update the drivers, still slow. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. And then I noticed that her GPU is running at one seventh of the speed that it should be running. And I was like, that's weird. So I took it apart and I did. Is that a PSU issue? I don't know. So I put, took it apart. Uh, it's been like 20 hours uh, trying to fix it. Could not figure out the problem. I, was, I, I, I had a whole list of things that I tried. Nothing worked. You have a whole list. Yep. So I uh, brought it to a repair shop three weeks ago. I, because I did, the, I caused the problem. I let Alexis. I'm letting Alexis use my computer. Honestly, I play games on my computer twice a week. Maybe I'll play Minecraft if I did that at work. But like, I really only play on Tuesdays. I play Baldur's Gate on Thursdays. I stream. Uh, maybe you know, Saturday or Sunday mornings, I'll I'll play some games while Alexis is sleeping or whatever. But generally, I play those two days. So I was like, Alexis, you could take my computer. I, all I need it is I just give it to me Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. Other than that, you can play because she lo- she plays Rest Impress a lot and she plays it like late into the night. So I'm like, you play way, the play games way more than me. Please go ahead. And the laptop is not does not run Rest Impress well, um, super well. It runs it fine, but not great. Um, does it have ray tracing? Actually, there are like there no, but there are um uh filters that make it look like it has ray tracing, which is kind of weird. Um RTX on dress to impress. RTX on dress to impress. Uh and then I I got a call a week after I, I dropped it off. And the guy Uh-oh. and the guy said, Oh, you just had your Jeep uh, your graphics card in the wrong slot. I said Okay, I switched that like four or five times. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I was like, uh, did that- Does it turn on? <laughs> does, you know? Yeah, well, I said, does that change the clock speed? Or did, did that change the clock speed? And he went, uh, let me check. Um, he, uh, he said, let me check, I'll call you back. Did not get a call back for two weeks. <laughs> they call me back and they say, yeah, we don't know what the problem is. We don't, we have no idea. Okay. How expensive was this rig previously? Uh, it was like a good, it's about a, a grand for the rig, but the. Okay. So uh, yeah, good price rig. Okay. Yeah. So not like high end, but like certainly a thousand dollars is a ton of money. Yeah. So. so, um, I have to pick that up at some point today, I think. And if they fucking call me, um, but I'm going to keep trying to fix it probably tomorrow. If not today, I, I also, I have, other, I've, some solutions that I'm going to try that I haven't tried. I have this little guy, this little Van Suni, little Van Suni. I'm going to put Ubuntu on it and see if the problem persists. Uh, Ubuntu. I have a funny. So I remember hearing, I was like a little nerd as a kid. Anyways, I was on like, I was deep in internet rabbit holes and somehow I heard about Ubuntu. Uh, and in my brain, I thought it said Anubatu. Anubatu. Like that's how I read it in my brain because I think I was just reading it from like Reddit threads or something. Yeah. And this was like re- I was like young. I, I think it was in like middle school or something like that. Um, and we had like a project for like a government or history class where we had to like design a fake country. And I named it Anubatu mm. after Ubuntu because yeah. I thought it was like a cool name for like a country. And I like ran in class Anubatu Ubuntu as a country. For a while, I've never installed it on anything. I'm not like knowledgeable in it yeah. at all. I just thought it was a fun name that I heard online. So uh, I've never used it. I I think I used it twice ever. I was like, oh, I want to get it as like a a side, like a partition install, and I never did that because that's fucking cringe. Um, so I just I, I put it on a, the 64 gigabyte flash drive. I'm just gonna slot that into her computer and hope that the problem doesn't persist. Because at that point, that it's just a Windows issue. Slot that into her. I'm slot that into her. Um, 
I, at that point, I, I don't know. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to fucking buy a new motherboard. But you're not editing anything until that is fixed. So, I, but so I, I, I can't edit anything until that's fixed. Um, which is honestly great. I've been playing Paper Mario. <laughs> so how have you been spending your time playing Paper Mario? I've been working. I've been playing. So you've been Paper playing Mario. console games. Yeah, I actually brought my. Don't you do your actual job on your computer? Not my. I have a work computer. Oh, okay. Um. So. <clears throat> Gross. My, I, I, I have two TVs. I have my TV that I brought from my house, and we bought a TV when we got here because I forgot my TV at my house when we first moved in. So we bought a bigger TV for the man cave. Um, and we, we've been uh, hanging out in the living room with two big TVs. I've been playing like Mario, people Mario on my TV, and she'll be playing Alice the Madness Returns, which is a classic. That's a PewDiePie classic specifically. Um, on the Steam Deck, on the other TV, you should consider killing yourself. You don't like PewDiePie? You're not a big PewDiePie, PewDiePie fan? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just there's a lot of things going on here that I'm not a fan of. PewDiePie Bridge? You're not a fan? You know what's fun about buying jerseys is that they advertise your size on you. Like you walk around as an advertisement for like, this is how big I am. Oh, mine would be like four of those. Yeah. Or XL. I, I, I went downstairs the other day and, it's, and it stinks down there. <laughs> Congratulations! Happy I'm not there anymore. Well, I think it's you're the reason that it sinks down there. You just left the smell. Still? Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a you problem at this point, buddy. Have we? We haven't done anything. We haven't had any content since. Yeah, since the I left. Yeah, yeah. So we well, haven't spoken. I'm sure a lot of stuff has happened to us. It's just I don't even remember yeah, what so my whole when, life's been like. It was, it was like what? Almost two months ago now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because one month ago was the debate. Yeah, so one month ago was the debate. So it was probably about a month and a half ago, if not two months ago. So when you were here, I felt really bad because I, I I subjected you to the basement, and <laughs> I subjected you to a futon that I did not know. Right in the middle of the futon was the sharp piece. So I will say two nights for two nights, it really wasn't a problem. Like I can sleep on a lot of things. Like I kind of slept on like the side a little bit and it was fine. I will say though on night three, I was a little sick of it. I did not know that that was there. I, we just got that futon and I, when I laid or sat on it or laid on it or something, I was like, you've been dealing with this. <laughs> I was like, what you need fuck? like a top foam mattress thing yeah, on top of it or mm. something. I finished my Arizona green tea. Whoa. That's also what I'm drinking. I think. That's alcoholic. It's not even five o'clock yet. It's the show, man. Um, I got a booger falling on my nose. Hold on. I'm very boogery. I'm just going to take clip it. Hold on. <sighs> man, this is some fucking crap. If I wake it's up, some, it's some hoopla. If I wake up in a certain way, I don't know if how I, I, I ain't going to how I got. I don't know if it's the angle mm-hmm. in which I wake up or if it's how much sleep I get or if my mouth is open or something. But my, Keep going. my nose will just be so boogery. Very cool, bud. Yeah. Very boogery nose. I, 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 I NGL. I oftentimes wake up congested because all my fucking shit's coming up. But yeah. I blow my shit out and then it's good. So Yeah. I had a, I had a Olive Garden last night on a date. Have I talked about my pasta pass before? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think they do that anymore. I think you're the only one that hasn't. I think I did it in like the last year because it was like before it was pre COVID. It was like 2019 or something when yeah. I got it. So I, I don't think they've done it since COVID. They do the unlimited pasta bowls, which are still cool, but like I don't think they sell the pass. Is it still like valid? They used to. No. What the freak? What the flip, dude? There was the chance, there was the opportunity. So like, there's a very limited number of unlimited pasta passes they were selling, but then there was like 50 lifetime pasta passes they were selling with them too. And I was trying to, I was there. I had videos of me trying to get it. I was like, really trying to you don't get have videos. it. You don't have videos. I have videos. You don't have videos. I have videos. Why are you lying? Liar. I have videos. Why are you lying about that? Jane Daniels you're, MVP. You're really loving your fucking your your jersey right now. You're, it's new. How new? Bought it. Um, okay, so I 
<clears throat> I usually put like 20 bucks in FanDuel at the beginning of the year, not sponsored. And I typically the way it goes is I'll do like really small, like dollar bets throughout the year. And maybe like I'll lose a couple bucks, maybe I'll win a couple bucks, but I usually kind of play it safe and it kind of evens out by the end of the year. Something about week three, I was just feeling good about my team. We were underdogs against the Bengals. I put the whole, like, I think it was like $21 in there or something like that. Put it all on the Bengals, and I ended up walking out of that game with 90 bucks. Hell yeah. Um, Hell fucking yeah. So the next week when they were playing against the Cardinals, I showed up. I posted a little picture in your in your friend group thing there, too. I had put $50 on my team winning, plus a bunch of random parlays that I would never usually do. Because they were just crazy picks, right? Like crazy picks. I would never usually spend that much money on it, but I had an abundance of money. I was not used to having that much money in my account. Every single one of them hit. I walked out of that stadium with five hundred dollars, <laughs> and I was like, "I'm cashing out all of it mm-hmm. before I lose this money." And I'm just reward. I'm rewarding myself with buying a jersey, and the rest of the money will go to my car because I had a bunch of car issues. But mm-hmm. so I'm like, I will. I will not waste it on fucking. Um, well, congratulations on <laughs> more bets. Congratulations that your team is killing it. Oh. I'm going to jinx it so hard because the, 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 tomorrow is like the one of the toughest games of the year for my team. So I'm going to jinx it. I think I would like football hard. if I knew how it worked. You know I really, I mean? First of all, I just grew up with it. Like I played football when I was a kid. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> you sent me that picture and I, I really wanted to do something with it that picture of you holding modern warfare 2 as a kid that, oh, that yeah, was yeah, so yeah. awesome that is such a good picture there's a lot of pictures of me holding like early call of duty games like there's one somewhere do you remember when it was, they had like a mountain dew promotion with like modern warfare 2 i think uh, yeah, where it was like yeah. double xp yeah, yeah. there's a picture of me somewhere where we bought like 50 cases of mountain dew and I'm just like holding up a copy of Modern Warfare 2 surrounded by a wall of like Mountain Dew cases. <laughs> I think just, there's a bunch of random pictures like me like that. Do games still still um, whoa, do games still do like double XP weekends? Uh hey, yeah. Well, I don't know about weekends, but I know Halo's doing a thing with like Monster right now where like you buy certain monster cans and you get double XP. Or is it Halo or is it Black Ops 6? I don't One know. of the two. I know that uh hey. Halo Infinite uh, was supposed to come out, you know, like what, 2018 or whatever, whenever it was, 2019 maybe. And they yeah, were doing they like the big promotions prior to the launch. And then it took like two years after that yeah. promotion. I think Evan still has, he has like a monster BR or something like that. Or something. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I like that shit because I have really massive FOMO and that's really easy to like be like, I have this and nobody else doesn't. Or, or most people don't. Like for example, my skin in uh uh Halo Infinite is for a uh uh what is it called? It's a very rare skin that's for oh my god, what's it called? Nail polish, nail paint. You have the nail, nail polish paint. skin and I have the nail polish skin. In in Halo Infinite? Yeah, I had to buy it on Amazon and it had to be a very specific brand and a very specific drop of that brand. And then I got a code for a purple shiny skin and it's a very rare skin well i, I have helio skrill and halo 5 i got i bought i bought what is that helio scroll is like you had to beat all the previous halos on legendary or something like that that's easy as f did you see that oh did you wait i want to talk about the halo news but i'll, I'll get back to that um and i also bought in halo infinite i bought the uh the Master Chief from Halo CE pack, and you can put that skin on that Master Chief, and that is that is my dream because I loved I loved Halo One a lot. I defended Halo Infinite more than any of my friends, and I've stopped playing it. No, I stopped playing it completely. <laughs> no, I stopped playing it completely. It, does, it, it doesn't deserve much more of my money. So I, it's a good game. I, have, I just don't want to. I don't. Yeah, care. I have times in my life where I'm like, I really want to play Halo Infinite right now for for some reason. Like I very specifically want to play Halo Infinite right now. I got to get back into MCC is what I got to do. That's that's exactly it. And that's always what it ends up being is like Halo Infinite is is good. It is it is it is in a much better state. If it came out at the state it's in in 20 whatever 2021 everybody would be all over it. But it's it's just it, it there should there's, retcon add it to MCC. That's I said that about Halo 5. I said that's what I thought they were doing with Infinite. I, yeah. I don't. Did I, maybe I mentioned this like early, early on in this. But before Halo Infinite came out, I hypothesized 
that it's called infinite because it's going to be like a forever living game where there's not going to be any more game drops. It's all going to be just installable new games into the one master game. You know what I mean? Because they're already doing that with MCC. And I thought that like that was going to be like their platform for the future. And when they announced it was called infinite, I was like, whoa, the future is all going to be in one game. Yeah. It's not that cool. Maybe they did have plans for that and they just, everyone hated it and they scrapped it. I don't fucking know. So, and dude, the MC, MCC for that like six months that games were dropping in it, or maybe it was a year that games were just dropping in it like every few months was like the best MCC. And it's like, it was just, it wasn't even like that good for any reason. It was just like exciting when like, for example, cause I played, I played MCC when I hit PC the day it released. Right. And it only had Halo reach. And I remember playing like the flight for Halo uh, CE before Halo CK, CE came out on, on, and I remember playing the flight for Halo Two before Halo Two came out. Like it was awesome. It was awesome. Can't do that anymore because they're all out of Halos. But did you hear the Halo news? Yeah, I've heard about the Halo news. I actually talked about it a lot last night because um, there's a lot of stuff about it. There's a lot of things going on there, but I was particularly irked by like the Twitter folks talking about how it's like woke DEI higher shit. Did you not see this? The, the new head of Halo Studios is like a, a, a black lesbian woman and um, she has pronouns in her bio and stuff like that. And so the people went all off oh, of course. on that. And then, you know, and, and that's like the surface level of it. But then you start digging into the threads and like, they're talking about how like master chief looks more feminine now like they're like comparing the body structure of like Halo 1 through 3 Master Chief to like current iterations of Master Chief and now he has like more curves and stuff like that. And then they're comparing it to like Overwatch characters where like women look buff and that whole thing. Bro, sexy female Master Just, Chief would go crazy. I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Yeah, of course. Um I I've seen some fan <laughs> art. <laughs> but um uh you know, I don't know. I just I, I went down that rabbit hole for a bit and and I also found it interesting too because, you know, they posted all the Unreal Engine test stuff too. Which, by the way, bullshit. We ran some tests to think to see if Halo could work in Unreal Engine. First of all, none of it's gameplay. They're all just aesthetics. Of course, you can build aesthetics yeah. in yeah. Unreal yeah. Engine. Duh. You know what I mean? It doesn't prove anything. Yeah. Um, and then you know, like, what are you, what are you testing? Like, what do you mean you ran some tests? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what that. Anyways, I don't know what that means. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that there were people complaining that like, oh, Halo used to look like sci-fi, like early 2000s, Y2K aesthetics. And now it's this like nature, National Geographic, pack Northwest looking thing. And then someone like quote tweeted it and posted a picture of saying Helios from Halo 5 and said, this is basically Utah, which was kind of a funny tweet because they're kind of right. It looks like Utah. But then you go in the description and people are arguing with him. And his response is like, Halo 5 was generally regarded as a great game, and this was one of the best parts of the game. You're not like, like, like your argument's invalid because people love Halo 5. And in my mind, I'm like, I liked Halo 5, but I do not remember people loving it when it came out, yeah. right? Like, it was a pretty controversial yeah, release no. when it came out. So it's interesting to see, like, I guess younger people or new fans. I still like to think I'm pretty young myself, but people that are new to like Halo kind of like retconning what they think like good Halo games are, yeah. I guess. Like, it's kind of weird to me. Yeah, I, okay, so I think that the Halo news is overall just fucking incredible. This is what everybody wanted. And I don't think it changes much, to be honest with you, but go ahead. So, overall, this is like, the, the this is the best course of action. If, if 343 slash Halo Studios, or Halo, yeah, Halo Studios, it's three for three. They're calling themselves Halo Studios now. It's what are you going to say? You know, three for three industries. Yeah, Halo Studios. Oh, yeah, Halo Studios. They, three for three industries is dead. They said. Now it's Halo Studios. I have. I okay. I have. I. I, I guess I have more hope for this than you. Um, so, Halo Studios moving to Unreal Engine Five is. I like Unreal Engine Five. Is they have really cool tools. Incredible. All the tech demos and shit are awesome. This will make a Halo Infinite never happen again, which is great. We want this. We don't want another Halo Infinite. Not not even the game is great. The engine is fine. The physics are 
bad. I don't know why. But Unreal Engine 5, which has the Havoc, whatever the fuck it's called. The, it's a, it's a, it's a. It has Nanite. What? <laughs> it has Nanite. Isn't that their term for like their kind of like um, polygon changing, like that decreases and increases the number of polygons at a certain distance. And then uh-huh. it has like, look at, look up like. I, I, I know that most games do that, but like specifically go on YouTube, look up Unreal Engine 5 Nanite tech demo, and I think you'll okay. mind will be blown. Okay. Um, Havoc is a physics engine, especially a uh, physics modification of the Unreal Engine that is like it is Halo physics. So they already ha- kind of have that like pretty much made for them, which they, I don't know if they'll actually end up using or they won't. But it, it it's it's possible, is what I'm saying. Is Halo physics are possible. Releases will be they're working on multiple Halo games, is what they said. Multiple Halo projects. Never gonna have development hell like they had with Halo Infinite, which is what they need. They definitely need that after spending, you know, half a billion dollars on a game that died within a month, which is crazy. Um and Unreal Engine 5 is you it's not gonna take like I I, ask, I don't know everything on the back end, but my assumption is slip space has to be like modified, kind of depending on it's, it's from Blam, yeah. Yeah. Depending on like whatever whatever PC or console or graphics card or whatever setup you have. Whereas UB5 probably already has all that shit like like wrapped up. Like that, that's all as good. an Xbox gamer, does that ever affect me? No, absolutely not. Okay, but I'm just saying UE5 easier for everyone, it, and and I know that it, it's been rumored that they're going to make another Halo. They're going to make a uh, rebirth or whatever the fuck a uh, a retelling of Halo CE. That's like a, that's something that has been rumored for a long time. We don't need another Halo CE anniversary. We don't need that uh, again. If it's not if it's not on the same engine as Halo CE, and it is at, it is on UE5, it, it has quality of life improvements. Um, and it doesn't change too much around like, Hey, maybe you can actually pick up the energy sword. Now there's a bug. That would be awesome to me. I would, <laughs> is I, that foreshadowing? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, Halo CE, Halo CE is one of my favorite games of all time. If I can experience that again in a, in a, in a, you know, but it feels different in a, in some type of way. I would love it. Four player co-op. Imagine dude, four player co-op. I feel like I've already spent money on Halo CE like three to four times in my life. And I'd spend a lot of money on it again, dude. I spent money on it an infinite. Well, my hair goes crazy. What the fuck? Why is it so long right there? The but fuck? not your front. I don't know. You like Marge Simpson. <laughs> well, you could pull off such a good Marge Simpson cosplay That's with crazy. your haircut. Um, yeah, you're weird, dude. But I, I would, I would pay, I would pay for another. I, I mean, if it, for, I think it, I don't aren't f- they working on multiple Halo projects now? Yeah, that's what they said. People, people are uh, okay. Was, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I got a question for you. Um, so they're like, oh, now that we're moving over to Unreal Engine t- five, we don't have to split all of our time up building a new engine and making a new game, which is the point. Like we can just focus on making the game. But if you're going to be making multiple Halo games now, too, that kind of defeats the point. I would rather them just focus on one game. The whole studio just focus on making one thing finished from the get-go. Yeah. That's been the whole problem the whole time is that they can't yeah. finish anything. Yeah. I don't want you to make multiple Halo projects because, honestly, at this point, I'm about done with Halo. Mm. Halo kind of sucks now. Mm-hmm. If, you, if the next one you release isn't good, I might never buy another game again. So you guys better just get together in a little room, get real comfy with each other, and sit and think. It can be six months. It could be six years. It could be 60 years. I don't care. But whatever the next thing that comes out is has to be all good and encompassing right from the get-go. Yep. Has to be. I, yeah. I, I think we should have different like opinions. I might know the cell bugger is fucking crazy. Um, I think we Your have whole life is a, a bugger. mess. Oh. Your whole uh, life is a booger. Yeah. <laughs> That's the episode title now. Life is a booger. <laughs> life is a booger. Um, I, I have a different, I have a different takeaway of this than you do. Here's the thing. I'm a Pokemon fan. We've been praying. Buddy, we know. Every. Ch- I can just look at you. Every, every small change that they make. We're like, oh, 
that is going to make the next game 10 times better. And then the next game comes out and it's not that much better. So I live, I live in a constant state of when I hear things, things about games that are, are doing poorly, like Sonic games, for example, I'm like, Oh, that'll make the game. Great. The game comes out. The game's not great. It happens constantly. Sonic happens more than any other. Actually, I'll say Pokemon actually is probably the worst where they just don't release good games. It's just it's just games that I'm going to spend sixty dollars on or one hundred twenty dollars on. I'll probably buy both versions and then just sob when it's over because it's not that much better. Are you wiping your butt? Were you just wiping your butt? No, 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 no. Butt wiper. Your butt wiper. So when I when I hear Halo is moving to Unreal Engine five and it's not going to be development hell and they're 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 kind of moving. You don't know that right now, by the way. They're saying they're saying they're making things easier for themselves. You don't know. They, I don't know how you could possibly trust them to say anything at this point. Um, if they're moving to UE five, then they don't have to deal with flip space. I think things are going to be much easier for them. Oh, oh, it'll for sure be much easier for them. But I wouldn't put it past. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it won't be development hell because it, they just haven't proven themselves to have competent deadlines oh, or well, leadership up, or clear directions. A lot of the staff were are, are usurped, essentially. A lot, a lot of the, no, uh, I'm, the I'm familiar yeah. with it. Like, I, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Like, they're all good signs. Don't get me wrong. If you OK, let me be very clear. If you want to make a positive change in Halo right now, they did what they had to do. Right. Get rid of as much as you possibly can without removing the core. And then backfill those people, make big swings at like engine changes and that type of stuff. I like the move that they did. I don't want to come across as like, oh, this is going to ruin Halo. Because I don't believe that. I think if you are going to improve things, this is the change you should make. But at the same time, I don't trust them until they prove themselves. Yeah. And in order to do that, you need to put out a finished game that's good so in like that's two it. to three years and I'm, i just don't trust them to do that yeah so so in two to three years it's uh, i i'm gonna be buying halo cea2 i have game pass so <laughs> CE, you know, i'll just get it that's true halo ce anniversary anniversary and i'm going to play it i'm going to be like this is the def- direction of halo and then they're going to release like the next game is going to be like halo fucking seven and it's going to yeah. be p so um can i Say just one thing I respect about Halo really quick. They did Halo CE Anniversary. They did Halo 2 Anniversary. And Halo 3 is my favorite Halo game. I think majority of people would probably say it's their favorite Halo game. Maybe 2 or Reach. But like 3 I kind of feel like is that good sweet spot. They had all the money, opportunity in the world for a layup Halo 3 Anniversary. But I respect them because they didn't. Because Halo 3 still holds up to this day graphically so i have, and i kind of like the idea that it gets like it's almost like a flex right like this game never needs to be touched again you know what i mean like this game is like so perfect there's no reason why you would ever even touch it so i have um good news and bad news for you they're gonna redo halo 3 there is signs pointing to them remaking halo 3 new e5 I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would gush over it. Yeah. I'm sure if you take this clip and fast forward it to the moment where they release that, assuming it happens, I will be like, oh my God, I can't wait to play Halo 3 again. Blah, 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 blah. Cause I would just be a kid inside again. Yeah. Again, easy money. They have my money. I have game pass. So they really don't, but you know what I mean? Like they will have my money in some capacity, but I currently for all intents and purposes right now, I do think it's kind of baller that like, Oh, we're going to go back and retouch everything. We're going to go back and retouch everything. But no, we don't Hands need to touch off Halo, Halo 3. 3. Hands off Halo 3. Yeah, like, I don't know. Something about that's kind of cool to me. It is really cool. Halo 3 is so fucking good. And it's crazy that it's crazy playing it and that game being nearly 20 years old. It's crazy, I know. crazy playing and it, it still now. looks good. It like, looks it, good and it, it holds up gameplay wise, too. It's crazy. It, yeah. And I mean, like, maybe it's uh, I'm a bit biased because I'm playing MCC. So it has up res textures and stuff like that. But like. That's it. You know what I mean? Like it's the same engine running the same stuff, just at a higher resolution. Yeah. Like, looks great. I'm shoot. I might hop on and play Halo Three after this, <laughs> dude. I'm, I I Maybe. I think about Halo so often, and I never load it up ever. I just want to play modded. I just like modded Halo. It's so are fun. They doing, are they doing Battle Royale still, or is that just gone? So I think my guess would be Project Tatanka 
Because I think that was originally. Oh, that's a name. I haven't heard about Project Tatanka in a long time. I know. I think Project Tatanka. We've lost, by the way, anyone that was ever know, like, just remotely clicking on. But that's fine. I have nothing else to talk about. We just have fun. With the exception of, I think so. I think Project Tatanka uh, was a. <sighs> it, I think I, my 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 understanding was that it was originally going to be for Halo Infinite, and then it was going to then it was going to be its of own course, thing. Yeah. It was going to be its own thing. And I think my guess would be Project Tatanka is going to be um, reworked to be an UA5 as well, would be my guess. If Halo drops, because the, the details that I see. Does it not concern you, though, that they're going to be redoing Halo CE, Halo 3? You didn't mention Halo 2, but if they're doing those two things, fuck it. Why not Halo 2? Project Tatanka, a new Halo game. They're going to, it's like five potential Halo games right there. But they're all going to be kind of working on when they for a, I know it's new people. I know it's new people. I know it's a new name, but it's still Microsoft and it's still the same franchise. They have yet to prove themselves over the past. Ten, when did Halo four come out? 2012. I think. Past 12 years. They've not been able to just release a finished and good game. Yeah, de- de- definitely. Absolutely. Like, even if it is new people, like, you understand the environment you're walking into. It's almost like you're a football team that's been bad for 20 years, (laughs) and you get a new quarterback. It's like, you know, you can't just come in and expect, oh, everyone's just going to expect me to win. Like, no, you got to start winning. You know what I mean? Like, like you can't can't start, like, oh, yeah, in, like, two years from now, this will be. No, you got to start winning now. Like, that's the same principle with this, where it's like, I get that you're you're new to this. Like, you're new people in here. Like, this isn't the same regime, but at the same time, too, it's like, you know, you, you, you're you making stuff for a fan base that has got nothing but dog shit. Not dog shit. I like Halo. You know, I've defended. I like the games, but you know what I mean. Just comparatively like, dog shit, for sure. Comparatively dog shit. Um, the perception isn't great. Yeah. It's it's always, unf- even if it's good, it's unfinished. Yeah. And the perception is that it's bad. For 12 years. I just feel like you should really focus on one thing to get people back on your side. Then you can go off and do all of your crazy side ventures, but you need to win a game first. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't disagree. I'm just more optimistic about it. Given I see how I see it. Bungie. I, I think it's a good move. I think it's yeah, a good move. I'm just concerned. Bungie golden era three, four, Who is that little guy? Is that me? That's you. With a, with a, it looks like you have a Burger King cap on. What's uh, going on, everybody? Hello. Hey, Chumby Wumby. Is that Chumby you? Wumby. Yeah, <laughs> it's Chumby Wumby. It's Chumby man. Wumby, dude. That's crazy. How are you? Time no see. Yep. We're just talking about the future of Halo. You want to join in the conversation? <laughs> oh. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's why I joined. I had a feeling. Yeah, yeah. So people are definitely still tuned in. Bungie, mm-hmm. Bungie, Golden Era, three four three, Dark Era. That's the that's the blank period. And then Halo, Halo, and Halo Studios is the is the is the uh, is a is a is a blink in the sun that a, a lighthouse. The, yes, that's a great way to describe it. A lighthouse. Maybe it'll see me. Maybe it won't. My girlfriend had a blank period once, and her blood came out clear. That's called discharge. Wow, I thought my brother. she was pregnant. Maybe <laughs> we, got, we got pregnant. Clear period. Did water breaking? No, I, I baby. just meant that she was clear of a period. I guess was how I was interpreting that. Oh no, I think I think what he was trying to say is that she had we're finally in the clear. I think she, maybe yeah, she finally pregnant. That means we're clear. Yeah. She's going to get a lot more normal now. Yeah. How is your girlfriend, by the way? Yeah, how's your hot tub? How's my hot tub? It's doing pretty good. You know, I'm still it in is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I figure. Well, I, 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 when two people ask me a question, I see which one's more valuable in the hot tub question. <laughs> definitely, definitely ranked up higher. Good, good. No, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it did. It did, though. You're right. What do you look yeah. like? What do I look like? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I used to kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of what did you guys use? For this? <laughs> yeah, we have a picture. <laughs> uh, 
I <laughs> might a blonde play, guy in a blue we, suit. <sighs> we're gonna play guess who about what what I look like. Okay. Do I have a big red nose? I don't. You do I, actually. I do have a big red nose. <laughs> I do. Chubby Wumby, how would you rate this man out of ten? All right now. Ooh. Am I allowed to go negative? <laughs> yes. I mean, you're the you're in the driver's seat. That's right. I am. Like an eight. It's Shumby. It's Shumby one. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> we should all just start talking like Shumby Wumby. No. What 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 accent is that? Where are you from? Have I asked you this the before? Sewer. Yes, the sewer of where? He's got a sewerese accent. Uh, sewer well, I mean, it sort of moves around. I think right now I'm in uh, Kentucky, but you know I kind of just get on whatever stream I can get on. So if you were like, up. so if you, yeah, if you were like streaming down to Minnesota, would you have a different accent? Streaming no. down to Minnesota, or you keep you keep the accent? So you just sound like you're from Kentucky. If you always. move somewhere else, do you? Well, no, I'm not saying I sound like I'm from Kentucky, but if, if you if you move somewhere, do you just instantly lose your accent? I my question was if you do. Because uh, no, you're, you're in Kentucky bad. and you sound like you're from Kentucky. So if you like went down we the can river. play all three of my appearances and I guarantee this voice hasn't changed ben, at all. Ben, Ben, can you do a Cleveland accent? Yeah, do it. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't do that. I don't know a white guy with a suit on specifically. Yeah. What pass can you give me? Yeah, I mean, I look nice. If I'm going to live in a sewer, I'm still going to look nice. You don't got to worry about that. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, and if you're going to smell like, like shit, King Cole. Huh? That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that, that was a that. good joke I just made. Yeah. You said you smell like ass. One of them said. I don't, though, is the thing. You don't smell like ass in the sewer. No. How do you feel about Oop, man, how, not how, ass. how do you feel about the uh, 343 training to Halo Studios? <laughs> oh, good. Uh, this is, uh, you're asking the right guy here. <laughs> You, you like the you like the change? Uh, uh, I'm very much indifferent. <laughs> That's good. Hey, be, no, neutral is better Do than you get negative. Halo games down in the sewer. That's where they go, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, for we're the last still few on years. five down here. <laughs> yeah, he's probably chock full of Halo. It's probably the only thing you're playing down there. Yeah. No. What, what well, games? Well, what, what, what sewer games are there? There's Halo. He probably plays yeah, like Ninja Sonic, Turtles Subway Clyde, Surfers, Sonic Ninja Colors, Ninja, 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 Subway Surfers, <laughs> any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. I play them with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which you know that's like a whole thing because it's sort of a name and likeness sort of thing that they're kind of. I mean, when you're dealing with celebrities and they're playing their own game, it's it's always weird. Like yeah, that's a that's, if, boost. that's if like Gwyneth Paltrow just had her vagina candle lit Who in is her that? room. Gwyneth Paltrow, she owns Goop. Yeah, we got that down here. Yeah, Goop yeah. down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got Goop down. I heard there. of Goop. I was yeah. not familiar with the CEO. I played Chumby Wumby's Big Adventure too. That's one of the games that. Uh, it, who developed that? that? Who developed that? Um, <laughs> Why do you have to Force repeat the question? Yeah. <laughs> Are there any kind of power ups? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was so what? Uh, yeah, I, it's it's this guy. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the game, so I don't really know. If, like, I don't think we get that up here. You guys don't get that up here. All right. Well, there's no. this guy Chumby Wumby that you play as. Um, he's sort of trying to collect any relation. Um, huh? Any relation to this guy? I've never. I no. I've never heard of him. Okay. Yeah, but it's just Chumby Wumby's big adventure, man. He's he's living in a sewer. Um, he travels world to world in an inflatable hot tub that he rides around on different waves. Um, his accent does change per level. Okay. Oh, yeah. this voice acting. He code switches. Yeah. Yeah. He's a DEI hire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. No, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What's the What's the high score? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have like you a, a? I mean, I have it. Yeah. You, Trumby Wumby has the Trumby Wumby simulator high score. Yeah, I got. Is I it got a simulator? 40, I got forty-five thousand Trumby points. Yeah, uh, it's a full body experience, is what it is. Oh, it's VR. Oh, it's sick of VR. Yeah. Oh, no, it's full body. Wow, he got trackers <laughs> on his legs and everything. Yeah, you gotta get fully into the suit. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's sick though. No, I never played that. Never even heard of it actually, frankly. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I mean it's big down here. Yeah. I've played Don't Tell. <laughs> you get that down there? Nope. <laughs> no. Right, your little your little fucking grin, bro. I wanted to like fucking break your jaw. <laughs> I can't even remake what? what you I can't even remake your little your little grin. Your little grin. Is it your superpower you can break my jaw? Yeah. What's your Chubby Wombi, if you could, could have any superpower, what would it be? Huh? If you yeah, had any, the moon. Oh wow, what's up there? Wait, what? The rocks, cheese. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those are your two favorite things? Canonically, I've always wanted to go to the moon. So, wait, 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 wait. Your, your, your superpower is that you could fly to the moon, but nowhere else. Yeah, that's it. That's why okay. I, I kind of figure, kind of figure once I'm up there, I don't really need to go anywhere else. Do you get all the abilities to survive on the moon, too, or can you just get there, but you need the, like a space well, suit? What and are you talking about? Survive on the moon. You breathe? Yeah. Oh. I, I can. But are you the guy I don't live in a sewer and I can't breathe in the moon? Feels like a leap. Your honor, no further question. Well, it would be a pretty big well, one. Well if you were if you were left yeah. in a room with a bunch of poop, would you just die over it? Like if you like if you did if there was only poop air. I mean I mean probably. I mean I don't know. I I mean I haven't, but like I assume like a normie would. So like, do you notice from like sewer city to sewer city that it is like a big difference in like the waste product you're living in? Sewer city like, this, what pops up on our Roku's down here. That's what happens. Sewer, 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 yeah, sewer city for sure. Yeah, that's where you stream Chumby Wumby's Big Adventure. But I'm yeah. just saying, when you live in in the Kentucky sewers versus like a New York sewer, is there a noticeable difference? Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Currently, I'm in more of a rural uh, sewer right now. Rural it's Kentucky. A, yeah, uh, well, that's most of it, yeah. But, um, so, you know, it's a little bit. Uh, technology down in the sewer isn't quite as advanced as it is in New York, and it's um, it's definitely, there's there's more racist poop that comes down here. Wow. Yeah. What, what, what makes the poop racist? White. It comes down white. Yeah. That's bad. I think that, mean, that, that, yeah. that means, like, that some body part is that failing, means right? Racist. It means you're racist. Oh, you have okay. a heart. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I would. I would think they're also like maybe more like like bodies all- in the in the in the New York sewer. Yeah, well, sure, sure, sure. I got friends. Yep. <laughs> Did you see that the um, all the sports right now are trying to take a timeout for racism? Oh, they just wanted to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll revisit this. Right <laughs> yeah. There's a chill out on hate, I think is what it is. And they got like Shaquille O'Neal and like a bunch of other athletes. He's athletes. in Fortnite. Yeah. You guys heard they only get so many timeouts. DJ Diesel. You guys see that? Yeah, I only get three. You guys see that uh, Shaquille O'Neal's in Fortnite and he has that like a really cringe dance that he does? Can you show they, me? Can I show you? Yeah, yeah. Can you show me? Yeah, actually, I'm interested too. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to, I'll just, I'll, I'll download Fortnite on my phone. That's, I mean, I just figured you could show me the dance. Oh, yeah, since not, you know there's so no well. world where I'm doing that dance. It's really bad. You want to just see the dance? I want to see you do. I could probably picture you as a black. Yeah, they have internet, internet down up. there, buddy. He can you Google it if you wanted up. to. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, it's the internet's actually better down here. That's, oh, wait, that's right, let, me, let me part. let me study the dance. Okay. Yeah, oh, really. it's so cringe. I don't. I really don't want to do this. All right, hold on. I'll do it. 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 Hold on. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it in New General. I'm gonna do it. So the name of a town, New General. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I've been there. I've been to a sewer at least. How do you spell Shaquille O'Neal? Oh, just say, just say Shaq. Shaq with a Q. Yeah, it's <laughs> too Shaq. It's like you this. He goes full name. You won't confuse him with another guy. Zach, I, I please, no matter no matter what you're thinking, don't make a gift of this, please. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> It's like this. He's like. <laughs> That's what he does. That'll be a gift. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really. It's like. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's and he does that in Fortnite now too. It's crazy. I already made the it's game over. I made. I heard they added Ben Paquette to Fortnite, and he has one HP. <laughs> At all <laughs> he's, he's, he's one <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah. You think I'm trying to chug the, jug that away? I heard he's the gas. <laughs> <laughs> you think if I got shot in real life, I would die? <laughs> no. No. Um. I don't really know what, but yeah, I mean, could get stuck in you. This guy or it could bounce back. Yeah. <laughs> have an iron belly. I was thinking like it would like, if it would like hit my arm or something, it would just kind of like my skin would like envelop it and like kind of take it in and I would use it as nutrient. You do. <laughs> Is that what you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Gunpowder and copper. Well, I, don't know. I don't know what they're made out of. What are you, Wolverine? What are bullets made out of? Uh, some yeah. bullshit, dude. I don't know. That's true. That's so true, brother. Anybody? He just says. What do I look bullshit. like? A gunologist here? Yeah. What is this Gun City? If you, if, I've been to Gun City sewer. You've been to Gun City as well. I've been to Gun City sewer. Oh, Gun City sewer. What do they got there? Lots of fiber. What do they got in Gun City sewer? Yeah. A bunch of poop. Okay. Is that is that more of like the the white poop or um yeah, a little bit. It it's a it's a You'd be surprised, a, I bet. It's a healthy mate. Ever since Tim Waltz and Kamala Harris told us about, <laughs> told us about having Glocks, uh it's it's been a little less racist. They, they, they took they a time out. The, they fixed the gun issue in this country is that guns were a little too racist. How did that, how did a, actually, that's a good question. What, 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 what the, the, the sewer people like yourself and like, I'm well, I, be careful there. All right. SPs. <laughs> do the, do the, do uh, the SPs like, are you guys are big Reagan fans? I, I figured you guys would be. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's our, that's our pop culture. That's still going on. We're, we're a little late to it. We still think, I hope well, they just got the body. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's alive. He used to be really, alive. We, yeah. Pre sewer, I was a lot more into pop culture. Now I'm a little bit more into poop culture. Okay. Add an extra. Oh, and you're, you're different, completely different culture. I, I, I feel that a lot uh, of the time too. I feel um, like there's a lot of goldfish down in the sewers. I was, I was, yeah. A lot of them not dead. People give up. Timmy? Isn't is it? That a, is that a goldfish you had? Yeah, one of the many. Yeah, you had I mean, a goldfish oh, okay. named Timmy. We well, have yeah, several, apparently. Not named Timmy, assumedly. I, I mean, he said one of the many. You had more than one goldfish named Timmy. Well, yeah, we kept trying to replace him, but we could never fill the void. How old were you when you had Timmy? There's so many boogers in that. Who knows, man? What's that going, was, what uh, is going on? What's happening there? To his nose? Well, just all of it. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean all of it? What does I mean? I'm asking you, buddy. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, show him the back of your hair. Oh. Look at how his hair is cut. Isn't that weird? <laughs> what happened? What? Is that cool? You look like you belong in Whoville. <laughs> 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 That's a whimsical sewer, maybe. <laughs> he's, he's, Zach said I, said I look like Marge Simpson. You're, you're on your a way to bit, becoming yeah. a Marge Simpson, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's a little too uh, it's a little too out to the sides there, but you're you're starting to get it. Kind of like if you get all that hair to just go up, yeah. I don't think I can. I think it's GG, bro. No, I fucked it. I fucked it. Yeah, but the whole thing, bro, is crazy. You seen that? What? <laughs> it's actually nuts. It's so nuts. <laughs> you guys, you guys seen the kick streamers? Speaking of nuts. You, guys know, you guys know kick streamers? <laughs> I know Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan actually ended up in the sewer for a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, he came back up, but he spent some time down yeah, there. Wait, I heard. Where do your yeah. poops go? Is there like a sub sewer for 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 sewer? Can we blue, why yeah, does everything a- have to come back to that? Why can't why can't we just enjoy <laughs> whimsical sewer talk? I'm trying to get about the other the other aspects of sewer culture and life. Well, I want to yeah. know if there's like a sub sewer for the sewer poopers. It's a yeah, little bit it, of a, it's a little bit of a like, yeah, Russian nesting doll to sort of situation. So each, 
there are there are people that live in the sub sewer. Yes, and they keep getting smaller. Bro, I'm, I'm, about to need, I'm about to need a sewer. <laughs> so awful. Can we please end this? <laughs> Can we please end any aspect of this forever? <laughs> Holy shit, that was fucking gross. <laughs> if he's disgusted, then you then you know what it's like. Why is he, why is he chloroforming himself? <laughs> I'm to fucking die, dude. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, back to the poop. Conversation. Is it like ascending? Is it like ascending Nirvana? Like different tiers of it, you know, it could be born a yeah. bug or an animal yeah. or a person, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're trying to reach yeah, Nirvana. It depends which sewer you end up in, yeah. So, I mean, like, I, presumably, I was alive before this, yeah. yeah. And if you were like in a lower sewer, you lived a pretty good life, and if you were a person, you probably lived a pretty bad life, maybe. Yeah, the sewer, yeah. I, sewer mean, I, okay. I feel like I'm doing, I'm at the top sewer, so I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like that I lived an okay life, yeah. I mean, relatively, it's pretty good, yeah. How long do sewer people last? SPs last. <laughs> <laughs> longevity but SP what's your shelf life yeah about 30 seconds if you give me the right partner buddy <laughs> are you fertile you should dab me up <laughs> um, yep we did it <laughs> <laughs> whoa <laughs> that's crazy whoa <laughs> he's got that going on <laughs> That's you can't a do little that, dude. special right there. You can't do that, dude. I have autism. What? Um, you guys, uh, no, you guys seen the kid streamers actually. other than Lieutenant Dan? Uh, may, you're gonna have to give me like examples of who is a kick. I don't know who streams on what. Oh, you've seen, uh, you've seen, uh, I see this girl that kicks men on stream. Like, oh. like these tables where they those, insert themselves into and then they get kicked. Where they uh where you have to like take a shot and then the woman slaps you or something. Yes, shit. yes, yes. I was talking more about like the guy the kid who crashes McLaren and like hurt his buddy. Oh, I did see that yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny about that video? i I see like gore videos online, like really heinous shit. I saw that video got posted a bunch that day. I couldn't watch it. I just for some reason I just I thought about watching it because I saw it so much and I just I didn't even want to sit through it. Well, what it is is he goes, and then it lags because it's a stream. And then he, then it, it's him outside of his car looking at it and saying, film me, bro. Well, I saw the footage. He's like inside the car. He yeah. like turns over at the guy. Yeah. And and the, 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 the his buddy has blood always pouring down his face because there's a lot of blood cells in your in your head and your, your face. It's an old WWE trick to get a little razor. It's like right yeah. here yeah. or like right um it's like the foreheads, like a place where they like nick themselves a lot because it yeah. bleeds a yeah, lot. Yeah. yeah. So, like pretty, um, not dangerously, like not vital organs, yeah, yeah. but it bleeds a lot. Yeah. So he had blood d- d- pouring all down his face. And Jack Doherty is his name. Was like, oh man, I feel so sad about this. What the freak? And then he gives his, his buddy the camera and he's, he's like, film me, bro. Film me, bro. The guy who's bleeding down the face, he goes, film me, bro. Film me, bro. So bad. So bad. And it's so cool. And I wish I was a kick streamer. <laughs> <laughs> so is that like a side effect of kick being what it is or is it just a guy on kick well, it's just a guy i mean kick is where the degenerates go i think like like lieutenant dan that's what it seems like on the surface but i wonder why like how wh- like why do you think that happens? well that's not what it seems like in the sewer what well you said that's what it seems like on the surface Oh, you, you guys oh. you guys like you guys like kick streamers that was in the a sewer? good sewer based pun <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm chock full of them baby you you so you guys you guys are fans of the kick streamers down down in the sewer? Uh, yeah, we're more of a we're more fans of like teenagers getting into car crashes, but yeah. Okay. I had me you had me about to pause there for a moment. That's some shit I would say. Yeah. Well. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach. Zach, he's gone, man. He didn't close the door. I heard, I didn't hear the door open or close. Yeah, see, Zach. What? Hey. Got a really big question for you. Yeah, buddy, what's up? What what the fuck shampoo are you be are you using? Oh, actually, I'm really happy you asked me yeah. about this because I, I no joke, I was thinking about this before I joined on because I was like, what weird little subtle things in life? I had nothing to talk about. I'm winging this shit, and I was like, what's a weird thing that I do that I can bring up? Perpetual bottles. All right, hear me out. So in my bathroom, 
I I'll buy new bottles of soap, but when it gets to the end, I'll pour the rest of it in like another bottle of soap that I keep pouring other different soaps into. And so it just has like an amalgamation of like all my soaps from the past year. And same thing with like my body wash and shampoo, right? Like yeah. I'll have like a normal bottle that I buy at the store. When it gets to the end, I'll add it to the perpetual bottle. That's so really it's like cool. A, it's like a combination of like all the soaps I I've ever used. That's really cool. <laughs> so you, have a, you have a 2002 and one like body wash thing. Like what are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, it probably doesn't go back that far. It probably goes back to like a year or two ago, you know, but like, you know, there's like an extra bottle that like when it gets to the little end, I'll like pour it in, you know? And so that's like a combination of like all the soaps I've used from like the past year or two and like in one bottle. And then if it's like the little frother soap for the hand soaps, I'll add some water into it and shake it up. And so that it frothes out just like an amount like, of like a bunch of like soaps. diluted soaps at that point. Uh, just, like, watery well, the soap? only one, the, the only one that's diluted is the hand soap with the frother, but that's because like it doesn't get the froth unless it has water. Like if it's just pure soap, it doesn't like bubble and give you the like foam. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like it, it just won't work. So you have to add water to it to make it foam. I just, but the like body wash and shit is all just like, it's not diluted. It's just a bunch of soap. So, you know, what's the best thing about living with a girl who smells good is that I don't have to ever buy stuff. Use I just use her, her shit. Yeah. 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 Constantly. Yeah. I, all, the only thing I have is, uh, I know from showering at your house, she has that African net sponge. Yes, yeah, she does. Yep. To a few of them. Yep. You ever put that in your ass? Yeah. 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 Well, you, you gotta clean out the, the, um, the shit. <laughs> Uh, but the, uh, also the <laughs> yeah, buddy. I have, I have Medicasp. You do that. <laughs> I have the I have Medicasp for my eczema, and I put that on my Medicast. ears and on my head. And then all the rest of the shit is hers. I use her Dove soap to wash my bee hole and my bee sack and my armpits. And I use Your I just I just sack. I start I start with I start with my bee hole and then I don't even wash my hands off. I just keep going to my bee sack and I go to my my uh, a pits. I want to kill myself. You have a sack of bees? One time, my older, my <laughs> older brother, he said um, that he was playing down Skyrim, down. and he laughed really hard when he uh, uh, pickpocketed a guy, and all he had in his pocket was cheese and a bee. I think I'm going to have diarrhea. <laughs> you guys know Chaperone, by the way? Yeah, I've been... I've been uh... I've been responsible for her hating fame. <laughs> You've been responsible for that? Yeah, I've just sort of been tormenting her, just to, just to not let it all go. Oh, you're a part of the paparazzi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lady Gaga. No? <laughs> that was a word association, I suppose. Um, yeah, so were you the person that was like on the red carpet yelling at her that she told mm-hmm. to shut the fuck up? Or were you like commenting on Twitter about her politics? She didn't yell shut the fuck up at me. She said, thank you. Oh, wow. I thought you were trying yeah. to get her to hate you. No, well, I mean, I'm trying to keep her. I'm trying to keep her humble is what I'm trying to do. Uh, to keep her grounded. You like her music so much, you want to make sure that she doesn't get too in her head. Yeah, I, I mean, I could just sort of see, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep... Uh, Try to keep the ladies in check, really, is what I'm trying to do. Wow, Chumpy Wumpy keeps the ladies in check. How That's else right. do you do that? Hit them. Any other ways you like to keep ladies in check? <laughs> Just chapel roan online. Scream at them. Scream at them or hit them. That's <laughs> about it. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. If like you are in the sewer, you know how they have the little drains? I'm assuming you can peek through those, right? Kind of like a yeah, Pennywise situation. Yeah, Pennywise, you yeah, see, yeah, you yeah. see, You see a girl walking by, do you try to do anything to keep them in their place, or...? Yeah, you know, just let them walk. Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of just like I, I tell them, you know, what they could be doing better about themselves. Just, just you know, mm. little bit. was it constructive or is it destructive? Mainly destructive. <laughs> okay. we're not building them up much. Okay. Yeah, I think that happened to me. I, I may have encountered you or someone like you because I think I was walking by one time and someone from the sewer shouted something at a woman and they looked back at me and I was like, "What the crap?" It was the person in the sewer. Don't look at me. What did, what, what did the lady say? She you. what you just said. She looked at you, she looked back at me and she said, "What the crap? What the crap?" <laughs> yeah, she said, "What the crap?" And then she slapped me. Uh, I was like, crap. "Don't ask me." It was a sewer person. Okay, and they they usually they they thank us because they appreciate it. They appreciate being being treated like little 
little freaking little freaking garbage pigs. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> Tell them off, and they'll you'll get them off or something. What, what is this? What is this, What do they say? Yeah, yeah they say exactly say. that. Um, can we get a body count, maybe? It depends on the sewer, really. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. What, what, well, New York, New York is a fuck time, dude. Yeah, you ever finally you ever like open up like a, a briefcase and you just see like a human head? Fun fact: nobody's died in Utah ever. Huh? Yeah. The Mormons got it figured out. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was crazy. no alcohol. They got or... a, they've got a whole paradise thing set up that they just cannot get to. You ever go to Zion? It's pronounced nope. Shion. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Shion? Yeah. What is Shion? Z I O N. I don't know what he's on about. Is that not Happy I just wanted to know Zach. if you've been to Zion. Happy birthday, Zach. <laughs> 22. It was a while ago. Wow. 21. How old are you? Yeah. How old am I for real? A woman never, a woman never shares his age. That's right. Never mind. Sorry. But he will. Oh, okay. How old are you? I am 26. Eesh. Oof. <laughs> Bad age. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 30 is younger than 26. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really. It that is. actually like did something to my brain. When you said like that, emotionally, yeah, because I'm almost thirty. Yeah, congratulations! You're almost younger. Almost, no, not quite there. Yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to hop on here and wish Zach a happy birthday. Happy yeah, birthday, thank Zach! Thank you, thank you. We appreciate that. When is your birthday, Chumby? When's my birthday? Yeah, uh, it's a weird birthday. Wow, I haven't encountered too many of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> What's you like a Sagittarius or something? Like, uh, uh, what month is that? <laughs> it's like December, I think. Oh yeah, sure. I'll be, no, I think Capricorn's December. Right? It might be like December, January ish. Like, like I don't know. Okay. Ben, when is the Sagittarius born? What the fuck? Yeah, do you, no. July, I think. I don't know. What? <laughs> now I gotta Google this. I can't be right. You're making shit up. You're making shit up again, man. I'm a, I'm an, I'm an Aquarius, and I was in the I was Sagittarius in the, is November 22nd through De- December 21st. Mm-hmm. That's like most of December. <sighs> yeah, I might be a Sagittarius, but all my bros are Cancer. That that was a that was a Drake bar. Is that? Yeah. Who's that, or is that? I'm so a V I R G O G O. Wait, wait, what did you just spell? <laughs> Virgo. Oh, oh you, you, if you say G and R in, in, in the sequence, I get very scared. What? Okay. Even in that what? word, it doesn't go G straight to R, buddy. <laughs> it's Virgo. It's Vigro. Vigro. That's so your cat's right. name. That's so funny. That's crazy. Yeah, now you know how Brett Favre's name is spelled? Yeah, yeah. Arvra. Makes sense out of that. He's a weird guy. He stole all that money from uh, people with disabilities, and now he has one himself. What? Yeah, I I know that you guys have a whole wide cast of characters that like to come through here. Um, And, you know, I've sort of noticed that that sometimes when they come through, they like to come and give you guys little gifts and stuff whenever you get here. So I kind of figured... Well, yeah, we have a whole Nardwar situation, a whole reverse Nardwar situation going on. People come on yeah. to give us gifts. Yeah, yeah and, I, and, so, and so, you know, because it's Zach's birthday, I'm gonna, I, I, I brought in a little gift <laughs> for him. Um, so it's just something that's a little something for Zach. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I will. I will. Let me get this ready. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna download it real quick before that because if I don't, then my computer will drop every frame. What an awesome YouTube channel at the bottom of this. Page. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that they uploaded it for me. <laughs> That's very nice of them. That's very very nice of them. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Happy birthday, Zach. Before I get into this, happy birthday. I love you. Oh, thank you. All right. That's all. There's no like corrosive material leaking out of you, no bile seeping into your out of you. Look at me. Does it look like that would happen to me? 
We what we do? Why did this go this direction? <laughs> it's supposed to be Zach's birthday. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I, did, I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know how to describe it. I do feel kind of happier right okay. now. Though, so <laughs> she became <laughs> vice president, and I had the same issue. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Do I throw like clothes? <laughs> Holy shit! Ooh yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh. that was a great day. You, ready? Yeah. you pick your nose, right? Everybody picks their nose, and they they, they always say, "Don't pick your nose," but oh, everybody picks the boogers out of their nose. <laughs> that's you. Unrealistic, like <laughs> opinion that it's like, yeah, fuck it, buddy. It had to be in Mexico, right? With a name like Suarez, Panama. And there's the Suez Canal in the Middle East. You're well, gonna yeah, tell me why you have to eat the that you don't eat fucking boogers? Or don't, but not eat, don't, don't eat the boogers. Pick the boogers. I'll tell. <laughs> yeah. I think Grums, how would you rate this this out of one to ten? <laughs> I'm gonna get a pretty good angle from where I'm at right he now. He looks short and stumpy from that angle, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah to do. Are you you guys, tend to want your best to win. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ethan, add that to the clip. I'm not yeah. touching Bird Boy over there. I'll tell you what. That's Stop. crazy that you're doing Stop. that right now. Stop. 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 Take it off. I always, I always have like a little. A while. I, also, I always have like a little shit stain on the bottom of my feet. You ever <laughs> notice that? What do you mean you a less... shit stain? <laughs> you ever notice that? <laughs> you got you less than I do, around? buddy. <laughs> to me. Put it in my ass. Dude, I watched this video back. The fucking. The, the, it's my reaction of a reaction. Looks like a growing fungus. <laughs> Why do you got like grass What's with the feet? The What's with the no. feet? It's so it's so weirdly colored. <laughs> you did so yeah, why are you doing that? When I was trying school, to find there was many clips of me with my feet. He always told me <laughs> three different things. He said, "Matt doesn't matter. Go to the college. Don't tell dad." So yeah, nice I, think, and well, I think you have a genetic disability called being ugly. I don't. I don't think it works. <laughs> <laughs> What 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 even happened? That's so Does this complete your collection? Yes, this oh this, oh this, are these the questions? Yes, this collects com- He's a fibrous thing. What is it called? He's flubbered. <laughs> there makes a difference who you're talking to. Well, uh, uh, finish this sentence. The mitochondria is the what? The <laughs> mitochondria is. <laughs> This is this is a pretty simple. This is question. so stupid. This is such it, is a, it is a funny sentence. Yeah, I went to BJ's for a pazuki. I, 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 <laughs> my dick, my pee is soft. How does your pee just like dribble all into that sock? Hey. Yeah, I, 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 when I, pee, I don't even know what the context of that was. <laughs> is that what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't, know where I, can, like, I don't even know where that is. I think we've successfully made the most out of contextable show on the internet. What am I talking about? A dick in a sock and peeing. I don't know, bro. You tell, me, you tell me you don't remember what you were talking about six months ago? Your Honor. Look what the him. freak is that about? I don't remember any of this at all. I'm wearing the same shirt. 45 degree angle. Sometimes a 90. Really sure I was tired because I was bowling. I was bowling yeah. and I threw the ball really hard every time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was saying I have, I have retard I'll- strikes. <laughs> well, that's so not what I meant, but that's okay. <laughs> I Why do I run? <laughs> I, really like, I don't know. I don't know why you hopscotch. <laughs> I, I run hopscotch like a bison. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you, funny. You do hopscotch like one of those dolls you paint out molestation <laughs> on. You just way legs are open and rolling. Uh, okay. The other day oh. I was sitting on my bed. That's on on the window. 
and I was sitting with the cat, and I was just playing with my stomach hair, and I was just putting. This my, story is my, the most wild thing you've ever seen, by the way. <laughs> why, is, why is this the most wild thing? It's just to me, I know something it's about the story is the most insane <laughs> thing I think I've ever heard you say. <laughs> you say it like it's like, all right, they're gonna they're gonna join in on this one. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> they're gonna talk about it too. <laughs> All right. What, what, is, what did I say? What, what, did, what did I say? In play. You in put play your belly tucked out. hair in the yeah. windowsill and then you shut it to see if it made a different sound. You had your cat. Your cat was playing with your belly button hair and you put it under the windowsill to see when you shut it if it made a different sound was what you said. And you're telling it to us like we've all done it and we've all been there. And also, an unignored fact of this video, too, is that you have enough belly button top, as you would put it, to stop your window from shutting. I actually wonder. I'm going to check right now if it's, the hair is still there. Hold on. Let's do a, <laughs> crazy. Let's do a window hair, everybody. What do you, you guys? You guys know what I'm talking about. His ass was showing as he was leaving. <laughs> he went to go check to see how much belly button hair was under his windowsill, and he showed his ass while he was going to leave for it. Uh, there are a few hairs still there. <laughs> Great. Clean up. What, what kind right. of a sound did it make? Uh, it, clo- it it sounded a little bit muffled, but I was also like kind of not listening because there was just a random dog in the neighbor's driveway just staring at me. I don't have to tell. You don't have to tell people this. <laughs> uh, the way <laughs> Shane Dawson is. Uh, the window. <laughs> it, does, it, it does not need to be shared. And I and I felt when I closed the window, so I put it on the windowsill, and when I or like the window <laughs> divot, and when I when I closed the window, I felt like an actual like a not like a resistance, but it, like it didn't sound the same way. <laughs> Push it down. Resist. <laughs> what? I told my mom that I was, gonna, I was worried that I was going to get morning wind because I'm sleeping in the common area in my in my house. Go ahead. Gross, my dick. But it doesn't <laughs> look. Get rid of my dick. <laughs> I don't know if I can. You can see the little yeah. bulge. The little buddy, bulge. Buddy, buddy, we can't see it. Oh, you stick your fingers in your butt while wiping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had a hair in my shit. <laughs> okay, that's out of that's that's even more out of context than it. <laughs> that's way what more out of context. About, oh, it seems like we got plenty of context. You talk about sticking your hand in your butt when you're wiping. <laughs> yeah, he did. Us, he did put that <laughs> clip with the hair in your shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't, honestly don't even remember where I got the hair from. <laughs> I was pulling out my belly hair or my belly button. I put it on the in the window divot. <laughs> I was laying with the oh, cat. You accumulated I enough accumulated belly enough button where hair I and, it and it made to, a different sound. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Set up this one. <laughs> Fucking years since I worked at Dollar Tree. It was one time I was pants by one of my friends. His name was Lonnie. He pants me in in high school. And I, I luckily at the, in high school I wore two pairs of underwear every day. What do you do with the boogers when you're done with them? I put them on the floor of my car. <laughs> okay, all right, man. <laughs> I just, you, right now you're re, you're you're laughing, Zach. You would do not look pleased with this conversation at all in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I was unimpressed. I was waiting for this shit to be done. If you someone that looked just like you, would you have sex with them? If, as long as I'm not raping them. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did you say that? Dude, <laughs> would there, would there was more conversation before that. There was much more conversation as long before as that. I'm not <laughs> raping them. <laughs> that, he made it sound like I would walk up to one of me and I would be completely <laughs> consensual. But he didn't <laughs> specify that part specifically. So I was like, oh, so am I just like rizzing up this <laughs> me and then fucking them? Rizzing and then so up that this I, me. I laid it out. I was like, I, I will fuck them as long as they don't have to rape them. That's what I'm saying. I want to fuck me. <laughs> want to try? This debate was really good. See if they also so put two fingers in their ass and scoop the poop out. You told me that <laughs> you filled <laughs> your face one up with shit. Yeah, I did. It was like half our audience. <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, see, uh, uh, Joe Soy, uh, Stinky, Freddy, uh, uh, Moi, uh, uh, Wet.
if you relax enough or if you're stressed enough, you can get an, an erection, a sexual arousal reaction. And so that makes so much sense. That was like that was like a fake. Like I was like the scripted that. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh, oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I, I zoom in on his pants. Walk. You know, I have like chapped balls. <laughs> but it's a true. Wait, what? My, I just got off a walk, dude. I have like chapped balls, but it's a true love story. <laughs> when I, I, I met a girl on Omegle that was 15. Normally, <laughs> when your, your stuff gets, sister gets stuck in it, and if she gets stuck in a, in a, in a, in a washing machine, you don't pull her out by inserting the <laughs> You described this show. <laughs> that was like OG. It was from years ago. <laughs> Dude, spin facts. Do we should just re upload some of those clips? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> By the way, to some people I know, as like an online freak show. I got on my fucking keyboard. <laughs> now my keyboard. All right, that's it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm so gassy, right. bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zach. Happy birthday, Zach. Thank you. Did I talk to you? On, or I think we recorded stuff around my birthday, right? No, it was before. It was well, well before. we recorded a CNS for your birthday. Spoiler, maybe. I am. Um, that didn't come dude. out on your birthday. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, anyways, Chubby, you got any like weekend plans? Any big things coming up? Anything you want to plug? Maybe. Uh, nah. No. Nah, okay, nope. just chilling. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a pretty good life. You what? Uh, yeah, it is pretty good. You dating anybody? Well, we kind of went over this earlier. Yeah, I thought it was yes. Yeah. 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 Nope. Can we get a review? Can we get a review? Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> she's not a hot tub. I'm tell you that. Priorities go hot tub. Girlfriend, anything? Or is there something uh, in between hot I mean, tub and could, girlfriend? She, she could probably work her way up to that. I mean, I got I got my boys, you know. This is a new thing, then? What? This girlfriend? Uh, I don't, uh, probably. But, well, when the fuck did I get on this podcast last? Uh, Chummy Wombi, you, you know, you were on it recently and you joined for about five minutes and then you left. No, that's, that's usually how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Hold that's on, I'll, exactly. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the exact date. I was, on your, I was on your fly episode. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that was the last time you were on it. I'll tell you, you know, I'll tell you Chummy Wombi, you were on it on the fly episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Autism, ladies and gentlemen, he's so quick with it. No, it can't be the last time you were on it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. No, you gonna tell me? That's what I want to know. Chumby, I feel like I talked to you recently, bud. Nope. Did you join a stream or something at some point? Maybe. No, that was um. Uh, oh God, it maybe, was fire. Maybe he commented on a stream. I might have, yeah, I might have done that. He did, or FWSX did for him, buddy. We, I, yeah, I mean, uh, I got a good relation with the guys over there. Oh yeah, what are the what are they? Uh, <laughs> when is the next FWSX <laughs> video coming out? Can you give us? Uh, they're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix and Tire hard at work. <laughs> Yeah, who who are the people? Who are the members of us? We don't need to get into this. <laughs> we can we can we can stop this conversation. Who right knows now. who the other two are? But yeah, kind of weird. You know, my, one of my biggest uh, uh, inspirations for the regurgitated podcast was the Sub Exiled Show. Oh yeah, cool. Don't know what that is. I've seen every episode. I saw the Yeti episode. <laughs> okay, you name one more. more. You went into it. <laughs> 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 yeah, you've seen them all. I mean, probably oh is a it's a wide catalog for you to choose from here. Yeah, that's like what thirty something of them. 
I, probably not. Well, no, Hi- Hypnotic Hub. Yeah, I've seen them all. Th- that's not an episode. Yeah, but it, well, it's on it. Well, one of the episodes don't have a name, and I remember that one. All right, well, there you go. That feels like a pretty easy way to try to answer that. <laughs> I was on the one without a name. I know it, but it doesn't have a name, yeah. so I can't tell you. All right. B. <laughs> Is that what you drank? <laughs> No, he's making. I, no, yeah, I recognize that. I I recognize that I have to pee, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait it out like 20 up. minutes. You want to? I, I was thinking we could wrap this up. Yeah, you don't have to. You're allowed to pee. Why are you? Do you want to talk to me anymore, Zach? What about? No, I actually would love to talk what, to you more. What about I all just, my updates? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, please hit him at me. Okay. 20 minutes of updates starting now. Okay, so. <laughs> When How you, much pain are you in when you pee? Just a quick question. Does it like hurt? On like a scale, like one to ten? Sure. Well, sitting down or standing? Wait, it hurts more if it's in front of them? <laughs> well, the gravity, I think. What? <laughs> does does gravity not affect you if you're sitting? What are you talking about? Other way around. <laughs> standing. Okay, let's get the scale for standing. Standing, it's like, uh, uh, well, it's like a different scale. It's like there's like the burning sensation. There's another like the bruising sensation. There's the the, the bruising, <laughs> the sensation <laughs> of bruising. <laughs> well, it's like you know, like when you push a bruise, how do like, you feel getting bruised? You know, like when you push a bruise, it like hurts. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, that. I'm familiar. It's like I'm pushing the pee out, and it like hurts like a bruise. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a so on, on, the, on the burning scale, it's like a three standing up. On the bruising scale, it's like a, also a three. And on yeah, like the, the two very different sensations. Yeah, well, well the it's all, all at the same time. A lot of UTIs. And then it, when I'm sitting down, it feels like it actually just feels like I have a kidney stone coming out. Hey Ben, 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 ask me what's ask say what's what I'm gonna say. I have an update. You're gonna say what's update? Okay. I have an update. What's update? Not much. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. That made me sound gay. That was sick as hell. I'll do that <laughs> yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty gay, dude. Yeah, I got an update. Yeah. What's update? Not much. Twice you got me there. It was actually crazy. Yeah, it's like the, yeah. nuts. You're fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty easy. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it was that impressive. You're currently oh. distracted by whatever's happening with your um, fingers. <laughs> um, um, you guys Bro's ever play? Interesting you ever play? You guys, what's your favorite game? Uh, what's your favorite? <laughs> this is your update. What's your favorite game? What's your favorite <laughs> game that's rated E10 and up? What? I don't know my fucking ratings. E10 up this day. Chat over the hedgehog. E10. Hold on. You can still hear us, so we can't like talk poorly of his weird oh. his weird neck. <clears throat> what are your updates? Oh, 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 oh. So uh when Zach left, I took a nap. This is like in early September, or end of uh, August. Okay, you took a nap in September. Yep. Took a took a quick nap. Okay. Um wake me up when September ends. And then and then it, September All right, we Started. got classic M for mature. Classic M for mature. Can you can you wait? Can you say like like uh, little B or whatever? Say like what? Like little B. Here you go. Never haven't played it yet. Classic Terminator. Fucking classic. I haven't played it yet. You know the video I'm talking about? Ah, forget it. Go ahead. No, I love little B, but no, I don't know. M. Mid. M. Uh, great. One of the greats. M. This great. is E. Why? Oh, dude, this <laughs> this game. I have a picture of me opening up this game when it came out when I was like a teenager. Never played that game. Never been interested. Pretty good. Um, M. A lot of M's here. Okay. M. What is that? Was that four? M. The three, four. This is four. Okay. Mid. M. Great. M. Great. M. 
Great. Can, we, can I can I can I talk about this for um, a second? You had, great. You have all of your games just in a pile. Yeah. Um, great. Um, what the fuck is that? Is that Dead, Dead Island? Island? Mid. Um, I bought this shit. <laughs> I don't remember buying this. This is T. This is WW. It's WWE All Stars. Do you not have fucking any E10 games? Um. This is T. Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Why is it rated T? Do you know? I don't know. Fantasy violence or something? I don't know. M. M. My God, you're so mature. What about this? Xbox 360 accessories. 1.2. M. Oh my God. Other people think you're young, but I don't. T. Halo 5. Okay. Which is crazy. M, classic. Yep. Another copy of Battlefield 4. I don't know why I have two. One was, yeah, one was Xbox One, I think. Oh. Underrated game, but M. Never heard of it. Maybe I've heard of it. M. Okay. M. No E10. M, also underrated game. It's uh, it's underrated, but it's only playable for like four hours. Good game, though. M. Okay. M classic. Classic. I haven't played it yet. M. Bad. M. What was that? Uh that was Alpha Protocol. Oh, that's an old ass game. Old ass game. Uh T Rocksmith. Oh, wow. For 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 verbiage. M. This is like the third or fourth copy of GTA yeah, five. Crazy. And they all have different Yeah. yeah. M Modern Warfare Three. Bad. It's all right. M classic. That's very, that's very classic. M classic. Still no E10. This can't be real. M. Wow. I don't have this any of those. Be. M classic. Oh my God. M. Here's an original Xbox copy of Halo 2. Nice. M. M. And two ghosts. E. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, M. Not a single E10 game. Nope. You don't own Shadow the Hedgehog. No. Nope. You don't own. I can think of another E10 game. <laughs> right. Lily, I listed right. you. I can only think of one. I can only think of one E10 game. <laughs> All right, what are your updates? Doesn't have it. Oh, so I took a nap Come when you left. Yep. I uh, I hung out with Alexis. I played some games. I got. I played some <laughs> you ma- hung out with your girlfriend. Yeah, I played some Paper Mario. Right. I'm just giving you the minor updates before I give you the bigger updates. Um, Tease me, those. please. <laughs> we don't have to. Have I only got this. canes once in the last month. You don't understand how big progress that is. That is a uh, like a nine thousand percent decrease. A guy walked up to. We went to canes at like eight p.m. A nine thousand calorie decrease. Really. <laughs> oh, a day. Uh, we went to a canes and kind of want canes now. Me too. And uh, my. Tonight we went at like eight thirty, and we we're like, "Hey, nobody's sitting outside. Is it kind of like a safer area? Whatever. Let's just sit outside." So we sat outside, eating our canes, and a guy walked up to us and asked us if we could. He could use our phones, and he was clearly up to no good. So we said, "I, I, I, was I he black? I'm not." He was. I'm not. Um, Cut. So crazy. <laughs> I'm not. Let me, just, let me just screen record this. I'm, really <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Next gonna have a birthday before. Why was he know. up to no good? Uh, <laughs> he. They looked like he. Uh, how do I say this uh, nicely? He was black. That's what he looked like. Well, that did, that he did look black, but no. Um, you ever just you know you know what crackheads look like? I think yeah. But yeah. What do they look like, man? Uh, he was kind of yeah. like he was kind of like dodgy, <laughs> and like and like he didn't have great skin care. Oh, <laughs> little ashy. White guy doesn't let black man use phone for being too ashy. <laughs> So um, he came up. He came up and he asked for our phone, and we were like, "And I don't. I'm not confrontational at all. I just don't. At this point, I just don't trust oh, wow. anybody." Discord had to censor him. I know. Yeah, I know. He cut out for me. Yeah, what did too. I say? Wait, wait, what, what did you not hear? I, you cut out. I'm. I'm not confrontational at all. So, 
when he walked, but he, when he walked up, he said, can I, you guys got phones? I have to call my father. I looked at him and I was currently sucking down a root beer and I looked at him and I just, and I like fucking like a demon, like, wow, you really scared him because I was so, uh, I was so not about to get my phone. You went nonverbal. Well, I'm already nonverbal, but I, I, that's all. That's my updates. That was all of your. That was your big update. <laughs> yeah, the big one is he's racist. <laughs> the big update is that I'm racist. <laughs> he came out. You need to take a timeout, buddy. Yeah, yeah, buddy. We're all taking a timeout on that. Well, I wouldn't so. even say that uh, it's an update that I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> you need an I'm update. Giving, I'm giving. I'm giving. I'm <laughs> giving. FWSX so much content. <laughs> well, how so? Yeah, he's right. Because they, they they keep oh, uplading you. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. racism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's serving racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soft serve racism. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got what's your uh? There's one more question before we get <laughs> before we before we get the show on the road before we get started with the podcast. <laughs> this is Act One. <laughs> this is the. Yeah. Well, just got um, right, one more one more quick question. Yeah, Before get- I got a bunch of life stuff that happened to me, but honestly, who gives a shit? I give a shit. Are you okay? Bro, don't get him started. You don't have to. I haven't been here nearly as long as you guys, and I think it's time to. Oh, so so, wait, wait. Before, before, before. How do you feel about three four three shutting down and changing? <laughs> the studios? Um, you guys, uh, have you guys? By the way, but I, I hope you know that Chumby won't be that. We successfully we started off strong, and then we lost anyone that could have possibly clicked in this video before you joined. So just throwing that out there that we did you a service. So cool. Yeah. I just got one more question before, uh, before we get this, we get act two started, I guess. I or love whatever. questions. Yeah. Me question. I uh, notoriously love questions. How many, where do you, where do you stash your clean clothes and how often are you cleaning them? Where do I stash them? <laughs> yeah. Chumby for me. I have both. It depends on how lazy I'm being that week. Typically, I hang up all my shirts and I try to fold my like pants and put them um, like off to the side. And then I just kind of jumble up the underwear and socks and throw them in the dresser in the guest room. But sometimes if I'm being really lazy, it goes in a pile. Can't even lie. Trumby? Yeah, it's dresser. Okay. So I have a dresser behind me. It is nearly empty. I hardly know her. It is nearly empty. That's where all my clothes go. See that? See over there? All the clothes over there? That's where all my clothes go. Because who a, gives an F? A, I told you I'm a G. That was a, that was a Blair Witch type scenario. I thought we were about to get shown. What were you, flashbacks to Burkittsville. What were you expecting? Uh, The Blair Witch. What? All right, doesn't matter. We can move on. Okay, so... Big... Big things happening in my life. I, I just love starting <laughs> and never having anything. Coming. Are you guys vocal processors? <laughs> what the fuck are you? Please describe if, your If thoughts. we were, this podcast would be a nightmare. <laughs> so, the reason that this podcast is, is a nightmare is because I am a vocal processor. I don't think before I speak, I can't. I, go to, I think too slow. Yeah. yeah, we noticed. So... Zach can talk for 45 minutes in a row about a thing and be very thought, thoughtful about it, but I can't think, so I just I just let words fly out of my mouth. Chumpy Wumpy might disagree about how thoughtful I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think, he, think you're giving him too much credit, if I'm being honest with you. But look at him. What about I'm, I'm currently rising. Yeah, what's up, Dave? So yeah. You- oh, no. Um, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> how did it go again? Fuck. It was it. the simplest thing. <laughs> yeah, get oh, all those shit. boogers out, buddy. <sighs> nothing's fucking. It's just dry. It's like nothing's coming out. I just feel like I have boogers all over the world. Because then stop showing. You need to do. You need to do. It's your probably nose. the copious amount of napkin parts that are now shoved up there. Dude, I can't even. There's a it's fucking. It's like a. <sighs> okay. Um. <laughs> 
I just, Zombie Wombie, do you want to outro the show? Yeah, just, just please. Just like finally, dude. Uh, thanks for stopping by the sewer today, guys. Uh, catch you, catch you on the flippity flop. On the Patreon episode. Bingo bongo. Patreon. Yeah, we yeah we catch you on the OnlyFans. Catch you up on the on the OnlyFans episode. Okay, we all, no one. joke having OnlyFans. It's like check, it's like plug talk. <laughs> 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 uh, you let. You let people fuck your girlfriend? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I should know. I was over there. It's true. Just kidding. No that was Brian. That was Brian's was... job. No wonder this guy loves train so much. Like train? Like running one, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a little conductor. And your autos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. So that was the episode... <laughs> So that was the episode with, with uh, sorry, uh, Ben Peck from Elden Ring Video, Zach Marshall from Subexiled Yeti, and Chumby Wumby from Sewer. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It's been a great <gasps> one. Really appreciate the, 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 the sub comments and <laughs> subscriptions. <laughs> and thank you, everybody, for being around. So thanks all. It has been a good one. Drop zero frames. I don't understand how you thought the black guy was up to no good. If you came up to me asking for anything, I'd be terrified. <laughs> Can I use your phone? <laughs> I need your phone. I need to call my dad. Do you have 40 <laughs> tissues I can use? No, I, I don't have at this point. I, I mean, do you like dirty? <laughs> what? Do I look like I'm frozen? A little bit. Okay. okay. Thanks everybody for watching. Zach, wave. Trump me when we wave. I am. Trust me. All right. Do the princess wave. Uh, you looked like you were stimming there. <laughs>